starting with the version 16.8 of Visual Studio 2019, we can now add both GitHub and GitHub Enterprise accounts to our IDE. This new functionality allows you to leverage the GitHub accounts as you do now with the Microsoft accounts and therefore making it way easier for you to access your GitHub resources within Visual Studio. Let's see how in this 3 minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Color Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn more about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub, just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any other videos like this. Today we talk about a new feature released in the Visual Studio 2019 version 16.8 the ability to add GitHub and GitHub Enterprise accounts to your Visual Studio. But let's start the clock and get into it. You have a couple of options when it comes to adding your GitHub account to Visual Studio. You could add it from the account settings and then reuse it in the future in Visual Studio, or you could just add whenever your development workflow requires it from an account picker dialog. To add it permanently, you can use the profile icon in the upper right corner and then click on account settings. In here, as usual, you have your add accounts and now you have this new GitHub account. When you click on that, a browser window will open asking you to authenticate into GitHub. And after doing so, as usual, if you have other organization you want to authorize, you can do so as well. And when you click to continue, you complete the authentication process. And now if we go back to Visual Studio, we can see that our GitHub account has been added to the account list in Visual Studio. And now you'll be able to use this account across all the Visual Studio functionalities. As I've mentioned, you can also add the account only when you need it. For example, if you want to create a new Git repository and host it in GitHub, the new Git tooling experience allows you to add your account and create the repository all from the same dialog. Just use the new Git menu over here. And inside, let's try, for example, to create a Git repo. You have here these create a new GitHub repo and starting the add account flow will launch a new web browser window asking for your GitHub credentials. In this case, I'm already logged in. So it just asked me to authorize one of the organizations I have. And after that process completes, your GitHub account will be added to the account picker and become available for use. Either ways, after successfully adding your GitHub account from an account picker or the account settings dialog, it will be displayed alongside your other accounts. Like it happens on the web and on GitHub desktop client, you can add only one GitHub account to Visual Studio. If you need to access resources from other accounts, you will need to remove that account from Visual Studio, log off in the github.com, and then re-add the new account. And what about the GitHub Enterprise accounts? Well, as for the normal GitHub accounts, you can add them from both the account settings or the account picker dialog. However, before adding a GitHub Enterprise account, you need to enable this functionality. Just go to the Account Options dialog under Tools, Options, Environments, Accounts, and enable this Include GitHub Enterprise Server Account checkbox. Once enabled, the Add Account flow will present you with a new dialog that gives you the option to log in using a GitHub Enterprise account. Let's try this out. Let's enable this feature, and let's try, for example, to create a new GitHub repository. As before, we select GitHub, but now we have this new interface that allows you to switch between the GitHub and the GitHub Enterprise accounts. If you select GitHub Enterprise, you will be prompted to enter the GitHub Enterprise server address, and then you can sign in using your browser to add the account to the Visual Studio keychain. In contrast to GitHub accounts, you will be able to add multiple GitHub Enterprise accounts to Visual Studio as long as they target a different endpoint. And as a last note, at the moment, at least, you cannot use the GitHub accounts as personalization accounts, meaning that if you want to be able to save your settings and replicate them in different machines, you will still need to use a Microsoft account. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. Let me know in the comment section below if you find this new feature useful and if you plan to use it. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Code and Day. Mm. You could add it from the account. account. Whenever your workflows 
uh, GitHub account enterprise. No. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Color Dave.